Good evening, everybody. Good evening. It's 15.42 on a Thursday by the Big Watch. How's everybody's day been? And, uh, mine's been steady. Mine's been steady. Uh, it's poured down with rain a couple of times, right? But, you know, it's been... Um, it's been all right. Been no major hiccups or anything like that, which is good. Um, yeah, just trying to think. Not heard from Georgia, so yeah, her day must must be going okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> you know, it's one of those boring days. Yeah. Any bloggers or vloggers would would know you get these days where you get. Nothing happens, yeah. It must be awful for daily vloggers. I wouldn't class myself as a daily blogger because I don't post every day. There's some days I don't. Um, but people who religiously do daily vlogs, like daily uh, Dave Nicholson, uh, say that again, Dave Nicholson or Sue from the Real Brits of New York. How do you find things to to vlog about? You know, it's uh, really difficult. <laughs> um, you get days like this, which is just like nothing, absolutely nothing. And you don't want to, you don't want to put boring content out. Although, fair enough. Like, I was in the most exciting channel. It's just our life, you know. Uh, yeah. So I'm just trying to think of what, what's planned tonight. I don't know. Denise has got a, uh, Denise is picking Georgia up tonight and she's got to go and get a, Denise has got to get a birthday present for her friend who she's going out drinking with on Saturday and getting extremely drunk. So she's going to get her a birthday present and then picking Georgia up. So I'll be going straight home from work and as it stands at the moment, you know, uh, I might get a might get a flyer from work. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, and I've got all my fruit and veg here. I've got loads of grapes. Got some strawberries, cherry tomatoes, some apples, and the bananas. The bananas are so fresh that actually came in as I pulled up outside the the uh, fruit and veg place. I'm actually just bringing them in then, so they are really fresh. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, that's it. I haven't really got much to to vlog about today. Um, ah, yeah. Mark Corn. I'll stick his channel down below. Um, Mark Corn. I know I've mentioned him mentioned him a few times. A good few times on our vlogs, you know. I've known Mark since 2011, when I first started vlogging, when uh, the vlogging community that I was part of, we saw going Hangouts on Google Plus and all sorts, there'd be loads of, I've even seen me getting drunk on the Hangouts before. Uh, well, Mark, just after me, my brother passed away in August of 2011. Mark sent us a message um, asking how I was doing and everything. And, like, you know, and we're pretty much hit it off on them. We've been friends since. And I was quite surprised. Mark, me and Mark always laugh about this, but I was quite surprised at first because I always thought, with me being the, the new guy and everything, you know, I'm still, I couldn't get more than like, I was lucky if I got more than 20 views per video. Um, hardly had any subs. Uh, but they were, they were slowly creeping up, you know. But uh, hardly had any subs. And, you know, it's, uh, all these other guys on the Hangouts had, like, you know, loads more than me. Some of them had a few thousand subs and everything, you know. Uh, wow, you know. And then I was I was in the hangouts chatting with them and everything. I got on well with them, you know, uh, sharing ideas with them and things like that. And um, it's great because back then, 
you could YouTube had the ability where you instead of typing a comment comment under the video you could actually do a video response where you would put a comment and that was a fantastic feature um, don't know why they got rid of it unless it was because of some trolls but I think they should have like dealt with that a different way because that was one of the best features that YouTube's ever had I think but these days you've got to like do a completely separate video then just share it to that person and link them to it rather than do it actually on their comment page uh, but uh, that was good then with, like, when you had a good community and things like that you know um, but yeah so as I was saying I got talking, got talking to Mark and I thought wow this guy is like, really popular he's got like loads and loads of followers and everything for some reason I've had in my brain he had a good he had a good few thousand subscribers but I was talking to him yesterday uh, sorry, Tuesday night, and he was telling us he only had 700 and something. God, isn't it funny how your brain twists things? I was, th I was thought he had like a few thousand subscribers, and he, he didn't, he actually only had 700 and something. And he has me when I first started, I thought, wow, this guy's like a really popular YouTuber, you know, and he wants to talk to me, and like he sent me like a private message asking how I am and everything. And we, we laugh about that now, you know, and we're, we're still. Like we still get on now, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I was there. Uh, where was I going with? It? Oh yes, Mark. But that—that's the story behind Mark, anyway. But um, if anybody can do us a favour with regards to Mark, if you can pop across to his channel, if you like what you see, subscribe. Great, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I've done shout outs for him before. But if if he's looking for ideas to do a challenge, like food challenges and things like that, you know. But it's obviously got to be safe, you know. It can't be something like, you know, like the Tide Pod Challenge or anything like that, which can actually really damage you, you know. It's, it's got to be a safe challenge. Because he, he's done some chilli crisps the other day, which were hot. Um, he's still got a bad stomach now. And he's got another one coming up. Probably be the beginning of next week. Um, I think so which will be a good one I can't wait for that one but we've been banding ideas about today trying to think of challenges for him to do stuff that he can eat um, pretty much most of the ones I come up with he's on no 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 <laughs> so if you want to pop across to his channel I'll leave the link below give him some ideas of things that either really hot or um, really gross, you know, and sickly and horrible. Just something that will be a challenge for him to eat. I've suggested dog biscuits. You know, those hard dog biscuits that you buy in the bags. You know. I've suggested them. Um, garden worms and mealworms and all sorts of things, you know. Uh, go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway I'll leave his link below send him your ideas um, never know he might take you up on take you up on it uh, uh, anyway I'm really tired I'll get going for the moment uh, yeah I'll catch you guys a little bit later on probably when when I'm back home alright toodles I'm home, yes, at last. I didn't get away too early. I could have been, but I didn't want to be too cheeky, and uh, so I just disappeared. So I stayed around and uh, pretty much sat on my phone and <laughs> talked to the boss. Uh, but I'm home now. Got dishes to do and stuff like that, and uh, cats are fed. I need to put some washing in because we're way behind on the washing. Typical. Uh, looks like my new neighbours have moved in. There's a new car there. Parked an hour bay. Mm, getting told. Yeah, but <clears throat> looking forward to meeting them. I was like, like uh, meeting new neighbours. According to the, the house owner there, I was talking to her the other day, and apparently they're a nice couple. You know, he's a builder. I don't know what she does, but apparently they're a nice couple, and they've got a dog. So 
Uh, yeah, just waiting for Denise to ring back. Uh, uh, see how her day's been. We've not heard from Georgia yet. Uh, all must be well there. She must have been keeping herself nice and busy. Uh, I tell you what, I'm shot at. Your eyes just feel so heavy. Go. <laughs> Not an attractive look. <laughs> uh, and here's old Molly sitting patiently waiting for her tea. The other two dive straight in. Well, Franklin dives straight in for the, the food. Eats loads of it. Franklin then, uh, Costa then goes second. Gets the remaining. By the time he's finished, there's none left. And Molly sat there starving her. Well, but she, she hates going first. Unless we throw the other two out and let her go first. Uh, well, apart from that, I don't know. They seem, they seem to be eating more food now than they used to be. I don't know if it's because they're getting older. Or what, or what, but... Whether Franklin's getting more greedy or what, I don't know. Like two pouches used to go between all three, but like now it doesn't. So we're gonna to have to find a way to feed them separately. Well, I don't know how we're gonna do that. Hmm. Because if we put a bowl out separate for Molly somewhere, Franklin will spy that and he'll just eat that as well. So might have to be a case of feeding them and then throwing them out, then give Molly a pouch. She sits there giving you the sort of kitten eyes going, Mow. <laughs> She's so pitiful. And like I'm a soft touch me. Uh, but I've always been told you should not feed cats on demand. And I know that. And I used to tell my dad that. Because my dad used to, like, every time the cat went meow, he'd, like, he was feeding it. So stop feeding it on demand because they get used to it. And, you know, it's hard to stop that habit. But... It's a bit different when you know she hasn't had like enough to eat. You cat, you cat owners, and all that, but I don't know how many of you people have got uh, a few cats. I know Frosty, Frosty Life's got two, but I don't know. Everybody else I know has got one. Hmm. There's just us weirdos that's got three. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm gonna go and um, get this washing in, get the dishes done, you know. Man's work is never done and all that sort of thing. What was I just saying? That's off to Franklin and Costa. There's barely anything left for Molly. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> there she is. There's the boss. <laughs> She's moving. I can't do it there. Right. You know it. Know your place. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, I'm a little bit flushed. Are you? I know. Is that, is that seeing me? Must no, be. Yeah. Must be. That's what it does. <laughs> Hot and bothered I am. Definitely. Definitely seeing me. <laughs> How's your day been? <sighs> Good. Yeah, it's been alright. I'm shattered though because I went straight to the Metro Centre for a present for my friend. And I just, I was racing around trying to find the shop and then I went to Primark and, and went back to meet George so my legs are a bit achy. I feel like I've had a workout. <laughs> um, and then went and done some shopping. We're having steak, chips and peas with... Mushy peas. Peppercorn sauce today. Oh, if you nice. want mushy peas, you can have mushy peas, but I bought normal peas. I love mushy peas. Okay. Yes. It's got to be all good. Farty food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so no, it's been good. So what's the gossip? I don't think so. No. You don't think so? No. No. Um, finished it for the morning and off for the weekend. So I'm happy with that. She's still under the impression she's not going out of Whitley Bay on Sunday or anywhere like that. If I'm getting in at quarter to three, there's no way I'm going out on Sunday. So, what do you think we and George are supposed to do? I just can do what you want. You just go down to Whitley. <laughs> Charming. You'd be lucky if you see me before 12. Okay. The worst of a day. Yeah, you know. These things have to be done. You know you're old now, you shouldn't be going out. <laughs> old day, darling, old day. You're never too old. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> 
I like this new one. New chopping board from IKEA. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of in it. I've scratched it already. Like, oh, I can see, yeah. yeah. But it's better than doing the workshop. Like I normally do. Yes, true. <laughs> so what's for plans tonight? I heard you say something about relaxing. Tea. And then chilling out. White fella. Yes. Got it right. Got it right. Something like that anyway. Um, yeah. yeah. Probably just do that, have a tea and then get warm because it's freezing outside. It's really, really cold. It isn't it, Hasn't been too bad a day today apart from just being rainy. Uh, I've been freezing at work all day. Had my jacket on, had it off when customers came well, in. What about your big scarf? Did you not do that with you? I didn't, no. I probably should have done, but... <sighs> what you like. <laughs> I stopped it there, but you know, I stopped it, then she continued talking. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm saying I hope I've had a good week. I feel as if I have, like food wise and stuff. So, see what the scales say on there. Uh, I've not cheated once, even though there's been all sorts available for us chocolates and donuts and everything at work and cookies and biscuits. No, and, well, that's good. And I've not, not had one. It's hard to say no sometimes, isn't it? Mm. What? It was the guilt that, that I, I would have felt guilty. That's why I didn't. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love a little cheat now and again. Right, I'm having a Toblerone tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, I'll uh, let you get on now because I'm, I need a supervisor. So. It's that time, I'll just change hands. It's that time, it's bedtime. Mm. We'll be watching some vlogs and yeah, watching some vlogs. Not too many. Uh, not too many, no, by the time uh -huh. I sat down and had a tea. It's a late one tonight, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It was very nice, though. So. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nice, juicy steak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very nice. Uh, we've done a, done a quick live as well, just an impromptu live session mm -hmm. while we're cooking tea. And, uh, had a chat on there, that was good. So thanks to everybody that uh, came onto that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, apparently, Kelly Cockcroft seemed very really loud, but for some reason couldn't comment. I don't know why. No, because she was watching the recording. Ah, which like, she thought was live at the time. Ah, <laughs> yeah, come on, Kelly, keep up. <laughs> that, that would explain it. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna just gonna go to bed. I think we're watching White Collar. You so, will be. Yeah. I will be. <laughs> right. We'll start off watching this and it ends up me watching it. <laughs> so I'll be watching White Collar then. Um, yeah. You tired? A little bit. Not, not too bad at the minute. It's only mm. 10 past 9, so mm -hmm. I'm sure I can last. <laughs> Till half past. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so. Yeah, um, have, a, have, a, have a hope you've had a good day and I'll catch up with you all very soon. Uh, it's nearly the weekend. <laughs> it is, it is. Yay. Uh, if anybody noticed yesterday's vlog, by the way, sorry, noticed at the end they've done something a little bit different. Did you? I did. I don't know if it'll show on the mobile phone, or what, but it does on desktop. Mm. Mm, right. 
instead of doing shout outs through the video i've actually done cards at the end for channels for people to watch isn't he clever i am <laughs> <laughs> go and check them out anyway <laughs> and, uh, just help our fellas fellas um creators out so anyway take care and we'll speak to you very very soon